Ninja? You want some sake? Whiskey. How can people just drink straight up alcohol like that? Like, that's crazy. It's really not that hard. Do you want to try? Who said that? It's Fly Girl Nina, your alter ego. Oh, okay then. What's up? <laughs> you are. Huh? Now, believe it or not, not all people drink alcohol for the purpose of getting drunk. Many people learn to adapt their taste buds to actually enjoy the nuance of flavors in liquor. Drinking spirits neat can help you understand what type of liquor you actually like. Here are the items you will need to drink whiskey and other spirits like a woman. First, you need an alcohol of your choice. I would definitely not suggest drinking any alcohol that is flavored like spice rum, honey whiskey, or pineapple infused tequila. Don't pick an alcohol that is high proof when just starting out. Just stick to the natural flavor of the spirit. And don't preheat or freeze the liquor beforehand. It can mess up the flavor of the alcohol for this exercise. Also, don't drink the absolute bottom of the barrel liquor on the shelf unless you feel like drinking a bottle of rubbing alcohol that's going to burn your throat. In most cases, you can find a decent bottle of alcohol in the $20 to $30 range. However, it truly depends on what type of liquor you're choosing to drink. For instance, when it comes to cognac or tequila, you get what you pay for. Second, we need a glass to pour the liquor in. There are a couple different shapes of glassware you can get that will work perfectly for drinking spirits neat. First, we have the Glen Cairn glass. A Glen Cairn glass is specifically designed to drink whiskey, but you can use it for any type of spirit. You can also use a regular Schmegular rocks glass. It'll work just fine. I don't suggest using a martini or coupe glass because you want a glass that's gonna help direct the aromas towards your nose versus a wide surface area. Now that we have all the items needed, we can begin. Step one, pour in about one to two ounces of liquor into a glass. Step two, Take notice of the color of the alcohol. When sipping aged spirits, it can give you an indication of what type of cask the liquor was sitting in. Step three, swirl the glass to enable the liquor to coat the inside and release some of the aromatic flavors. Step four, smell the alcohol. Bring your nose close to the opening of the glass, take a whiff and pull away. You can also waft it around your nose but don't stick your nose too far in, otherwise the ethanol can burn. Repeat this process two more times. The first time you smell, it will mostly be the ethanol, but by the third time, you should be smelling some subtle flavors. What does the smell remind you of? Roughly 80% of your taste buds are influenced by smell. Step five. Now we are ready to drink our spirit of choice. Do not drink the liquor like a shot. Remember, the purpose of this exercise is to learn to unlock and actually enjoy the flavors of alcohol. Instead, take a light sip, just enough to coat the inside of your mouth. Then, let it sit for about 10 seconds, and then swallow. Notice the full experience. What does the spirit taste like? Is it sweet? If so, what kind of sweet? Caramel, vanilla, maple? Does the spirit go down smooth or have a hot sensation? Does the flavor shift or change while you're drinking it? Does the flavor linger or does it vanish immediately? How is the texture? Is it light, delicate, heavy, oily, full-bodied? Is there an aftertaste? And do you like the aftertaste? If you don't feel confident enough to answer any of these questions, don't worry, that's totally normal. If you're having a hard time describing the flavors of a spirit, I've created a flavor guide that may help give suggestions to what you're smelling or tasting in your spirits. Check out flygirlbartending.com to print your free copy of this chart. After signing up, if you don't see it in your email right away, check the promotions or spam folder. It might have redirected over there. But anyway, let's get back to the exercise. Next, we're going to repeat this process at least two more times. Usually, it takes three sips to fully understand the flavor and complexity of the spirit you're tasting. If you're comparing a few liquors in one sitting, make sure to have some palate cleansers to taste in between, like water and crackers. 
you can also add a drop of water to the spirit to help open up the flavors and aromas. And I mean a drop, don't drown it. Adding a large ice cube can also work. If you still can't commit to drinking spirits neat, but you want to work your way up to it, you can definitely use a chaser or mixed drink. Again, we're still not taking a full shot. I recommend starting simple with equal parts of a spirit in a mixer, like a whiskey coke or tequila pineapple. Each time you drink the mixed drink, put less and less of the mixer until eventually you are just drinking the spirit on the rocks or neat. Or another thing you can do is start by drinking a refreshing classic cocktail like a traditional daiquiri or whiskey sour. And over time, switch to more spirit forward cocktails like an Old Fashioned or Manhattan. Wow, thanks Fly Girlina. That actually was really easy. Anytime. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comments of this video. I'll try to answer them the best way I can. Stay fly.